This health education webcast has been prepared by Jose Perez de la Cruz for the People for People project of the Terence Higgins Trust. In this session we will be discussing hepatitis C with particular reference to how it affects people living with HIV. Co-infection with hepatitis C and HIV is very common. That is being infected with both viruses. When someone has both conditions the health outcomes tend to be worse. Hepatitis C infection can in fact speed up the progression of HIV and limit treatment options. Hepatitis C like HIV is a virus. In common with the other hepatitis viruses, it predominantly infects the liver. Hepatitis is in fact the medical term for inflammation of the liver. The hepatitis C virus was conclusively identified for the first time in 1987. It is spread in a similar way to HIV, predominantly through injection drug use. Though it is now clear that it can also be sexually transmitted as well. Hepatitis C is up to 100 times more infectious than HIV, which puts into perspective a little the amount of unfounded stigma directed at people living with HIV. When you consider that someone is much more likely to acquire hepatitis C than HIV from similar patterns of risky behavior. Indeed most of the general population are completely ignorant of hepatitis C, even more so that HIV. Hepatitis C will become a chronic infection in around three quarters of those infected. Initial symptoms may resemble a flu-like illness with jaundice in severe cases. Many people have no symptoms at all, so they will not know they are infected until they have a blood test or their infection progresses. Untreated people with hepatitis C, like with HIV, remain outwardly healthy for a long period time. Eventually, though chronic, long-term infection with hepatitis C can lead to cirrhosis or scarring of the liver, cancer of the liver and or liver failure and death. The only cure owns someone has progressed to liver failure is a transplant. Although no vaccine exists currently for hepatitis C it is now completely curable. People living with HIV should make sure that as part of their routine care they ask for a hepatitis C test as a major problem in the UK at the moment is that infections are being missed.